Okay, part two. Part two. Uh, no, you're living in fantasy land and we don't want to have anything to do with this. This is dangerous. Let's just bring this out into public. And it's like, well, that's how you do it. You you have a press conference and you get the media and you invite them and you tell them exactly what's going on. So wouldn't it make sense because Q hears us behind the scenes because they're using surveillance, not on only us, but everybody, I'm pretty sure. And then guess what happens? They plant somebody in people's inner circle. I mean, President Biden has an inner circle. You have an inner circle. We have an inner circle, although now it's very small. And um, it's your circle of trust. And when it's broken, you know, it's it's very bad. And so we think Q wiggled their way in and unbeknownst to a lot of people, you know, kind of influenced them to do this, to think that this was a good idea. Guys, it's a bad idea. It, it is the law. We wrote all of these companies and then our lives were in danger because we were in two life-threatening accidents, one right after the other. Same thing happened here in D.C. again. And, you know, it's, it's just got to stop and we have it all documented, uh, right? Both of them on video, mm -hmm. pictures and all of that. And I was like, why? Who's trying to recreate this stuff to happen to us again? It's evil. You know, it's like, we, we don't want this. We came out here to stop this. And that's another story, how we were led astray with this whole bullshit thing. But, you know, friends and family of ours and all you people out there who we don't know very firsthand, be careful. Because if something doesn't sound right to you, it probably isn't. And this didn't sound right to us because we know for a fact that when our lives are in danger like this and we report it to the government, the government received it for sure. And we sent it to everybody practically. Yeah. I mean, we have receipts of it, so nobody got anything. That's bullshit. We have we have confirmed on who people had that had names that received the stuff. Yeah, so it's bullshit. And so, and when we're com complaining basically about what's happening to us, the government has to protect us. There's witness protection programs, but we have to agree to it. You know, it just can't be done to us and we just go along blindly. We don't do that. And nobody would. And so we have been forced down this path for some reason and we keep trying to get away from it. And it's like some good guys who are a little kooky right now need to like wake up and realize you're causing and allowing harm to us and destroying our company, our, our country so you think that you're destroying Q is probably not going to work because you're actually destroying us and other good people like us in the midst of thinking that you're destroying the Q group. The best way to go about it is like we outlined in our dissertation, we want to present this ourselves in person, not via video, or you guys read our dissertation. We, we need to do it in person, read our stuff ourselves, present it ourselves, get it recorded, have the press there asking questions, helping us. And that's how you defeat this. Everybody helping to do this, we would do our part. But it seems like our rescue, our help, our aid keeps getting strung along, you know, the transparent dangling carrots. And we keep saying, oh, okay, we'll jump through this hoop now. Now we'll jump through this hoop. Now we'll jump. And then, you know, little clues are kind of sent to us, trying to butter us up, thinking that if we keep performing and doing this, that we will be rewarded. And it's not happening. And so this is more we're adding to our lawsuit because we have cause and effect that we can say, now this happened, now this happened. And we keep trying to make it official. You know, we keep sending it through official means. We, we call the White House. Oh, by the way, we get hung up on. They're not supposed to do that, no matter what we say. Yeah, and that's that's been before and after mm -hmm. that one device got blocked. That one device is still blocked, so we have to use a different device. And we get hung up on that device now. They're not supposed to hang up, no matter how out there our needs are. They're supposed to say, um, you know... Like, who do you need? Have you tried this? See, they're supposed to actually help, not hang up. And we're not rude because we record our end of the conversation, which is 100% legal. Yeah. Because we're recording only our voices. So you can tell we're not being rude. We, we photograph and video record that we are indeed calling. And it goes to the switchboard and then we 
just put it on our voices and you can hear it. But we gave our certain people in our government permission to legally eavesdrop on us. So all the calls are recorded very legally and we requested it, but yeah. You know, now we're thinking about cutting that off because it's not helping us at all. So why allow anybody to hear? Yeah, I know. It's just gotten worse and worse and worse. It's not getting any better. And we have no end in sight. So we are being very vocal about it. And people are encouraging us to keep being vocal about it. That much is factual. And very easy to prove. Um, but what what really doesn't help anybody is that you guys need to be stronger willed of mind and not just oh yeah oh yeah good idea think about it if it's causing harm and breaks the law it's probably not a good idea we can win against our enemy our common enemy by doing this legitimately we are not down for illegitimate ways because we a well we would never get in trouble because we have no part in it but we really don't want to sue the good guys but if good guys are behaving badly maybe they need to learn a lesson but also Q wants to divide and conquer too. So guys, wake up. We see this for what it is, but we can't keep allowing the harm being done to us by no matter what side of the fence you're on. You know, you all, most of you have millions of dollars. You have a safe home. You can pull out your damn fucking pipes in your house that are poisoning you. You can do a bypass and plug it off. We actually know how to do that. Um, it's a no brainer for you. And, you know, you just take a shower, wipe it off, and don't go outside when it's raining or something like that. We, we don't have that, okay? We are bleeding money in a sense. And it's just like you guys just want to, what, let us be homeless and out on the street? Some of you guys are hinting at that they, that these crazy kooky good guys and the bad guys want us to live on a tent on Venice Beach. Mm -hmm. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. We are very responsible people. We're not going to allow that, you know, tear somebody down and then build them up. Maybe we don't even want to be near you guys because it's like, wait, if we're victorious, we'll just have another kind of Q group. Why propagate that? No, we want to end this kind of bullshit for once and for all. Um, because now we're being puppeted by the good guys. What a horrible idea it is to purposefully extend and allow more suffering when you ask your government and legally they are account should be held accountable for doing this bullshit and allowing it to be done to us and extending our suffering period longer yeah mm -mm. nope it's very illegal you are supposed to provide some means of protection because they know that our lives are in danger. We have proven our lives are in danger. It's not just minor harassments. It is every day. And we have already video recorded all this. Where are we getting nitric acid from? We don't have buckets of this shit. Why would we want to? It's very poisonous. Plus, I don't want to waste my money on toxic stuff. Yeah. I don't even want to waste my money on junk food, let alone toxins. So, you know... We don't have anything that is leaking, and it's happening when we're walking in parking lots, coming out of people's tailpipes, gasoline, in planes, anything that has gasoline, lawnmowers, parks uh, and recreational vehicles, you know, from parks and recreation, anything that dispenses and uses gasoline, really. And then the uh, foot soldiers, in a sense, right? You know, on foot. And just it it looks like whiteout actually, and we we discovered this at our home in Los Angeles and at the park. It it was dropped onto our vehicle underneath our fender, and we're like, where are these fumes coming from? It's quite corrosive, and you don't need that much apparently because we've seen only drops. Yeah, it is corrosive. Oh, it is for sure. Well, yeah. that's why it's eating through our skin. I mean, my skin still hasn't healed yet. Right here, it's just being torn away and it's swollen. I don't know if you can see that. Can you zoom in on this? Let's really document this. Let's see what you can do. I don't want my fingerprints seen, but mm. can you see how orange my fingertips are? And see how they're bubbling? Can you, right? 
right there. And then um, my skin is peeling really bad. It's healing pretty quick though. Um, we got other pictures of it online, but this is three days later and you can see it here and a little bit there, but it's just, it's bubbling up. This is really bad, this finger. It really, it hurts. Could you see it okay? I think so. All right, we're trying guys. But, um, hold on a second. Yeah, wait, why don't you try this again? Try it again. Try it again? Let me see. You, you ready? Yeah, the light in here is kind of bad. So here, can you... Move your hand higher. Move your hand higher. <sighs> yeah, it's not focusing now for some reason. It's not auto focus, isn't it? Yeah. I'll take it off auto focus. Wait, it just went. Can you see it yet? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, you can see it a little. Oh, shit, that white. Yeah, you move. This is such a pain in the ass. Okay, see right at the tip here? How it's white? It's really peeling bad and it hurts. It went into the subcutaneous um, Layer of skin. layers. It, it, it's eating right through my skin. And it really, really hurts. Shit. It really hurts. And we were in our SUV. You know, I didn't touch anything outside or anything like that. And we're washing our hands a lot. You know, they tell you to wash your hands a lot through this whole thing. It's not because of a biological virus. It's because this stuff is extremely corrosive and you need to wash your hands. It gets in the rain clouds, too. Oh, great. Which I'll, I can explain momentarily. <sighs> anyway, so guys, Dance Warrior, can you cut the shit and not take this to the extreme? Our story is good enough as it is. Nobody has been harmed by Q, this group of men, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Don't call it Q. Call it corporation. Call it group of men. They have caused a lot of harm in my life. They have like oppressed me and they think I'm their property. They try to tell me who the friends are because I try to have like normal friends and then come to find out they're planted in my life, these people, and they're all part of this group. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to have anything to do with you people. And so I can't ever have any good friends. And I've been like spending and nurturing relationships 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. And I feel like I wasted my time now because these are not good people. And it could just be that they were. And then Q came along, found out who my people were. You know, social media is very evil. They find out who you're connected to and they, they go and influence these people. Indeed. You know, also they could just control me. You know, that was the whole thing. I was their best kept secret as long as I was kept a secret. And here I am trying to break out and they're getting more and more nasty. And then like the good guys are doing the same thing to me, you know, allowing harm being done. But guys, you, you have to, by law, protect your citizens of your country, all of them. And we were with you know, asking you guys for help first, before, long before this whole COVID thing happened. And um, not that it, other people aren't important, but what about us? Holy shit. I don't want to be a soldier or a martyr. It's not worth it to us. We never signed up for this. We asked for help, and yet we're being used. We're being, like, marketed and stuff. And I'm like, nobody can actually market me as well as me. And I want to be me. I don't want to be somebody else's incarnation or reincarnation of something else other than what I am. And he doesn't either. And these people have just gotten a little weird. Don't you think? Well, yeah, obviously. I, I, it's just like... Psh, it's insane. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, really, I, I'm like a Barbie doll, okay? I'm strong, too. Like, you can put a Barbie doll with, I don't know, maybe Mulan or something like that. Um, I have both the warrior part of me and yet the very prissy side of me. But it doesn't mean I want to be a trans man or a trans boy. 
not even slightly. It's not that I want to actually be a real soldier because if I wanted to do that, I would have signed up for the military. I know where to find them and I, I don't have any desire to be a part of that. Um, it, like I said, it, this is a very amazing story all on its own. You don't have to embellish it. You don't have to lengthen it. You don't have to strengthen it. The truth is always the best. So I'm standing against now. I'm fighting some good guys, some, and this cube bullshit or whatever the hell it is, you know? And you can tell we're very down-to-earth, normal people. And we've been used and abused, and we're stopping it. But really, it smells like Q, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Making the good guys think, yeah, it's a good idea. Let's make her suffer longer and buy our time and destroy our country. More. That's not my voice, right? I'm pretending to be somebody else. I don't want to destroy our country. I'm like, you really shouldn't close everything down like this because it's just going to be harder to open it, right? Yeah. Fine, close the borders just so you can figure out what the fuck's going on temporarily. Um, totally fine with that. But don't all of a sudden, you know, think that you have to close all the stores, all of this, all of that, because, you know, everybody's getting poisoned anyway in their homes, in the air. What difference did it make? It only hurt good people, too. And, you know, that's a choice you make. And I understand that's got to be a very hard choice to decide. But everyone was afraid that it was going to be utter destruction. Look, Q does not have a kill switch that's instantaneous. They have one that takes a very, very long time. So we're all kind of dying this slow, arduous, torturous death. And I'll see even more because, oh, you don't see what we have to do in a day just to stay alive. You know, we do these videos, and I don't know how this is looking, but, you know, we have to patch ourselves up, like, every few hours. It's really horrible. And I'm sure you guys are noticing it, too, because our beloveds are communicating with us and saying, oh, they all of a sudden have all these health problems, and oh, this is happening, that's happening. And I'm like, well, you know what? We wanted to stand stronger together and unite and actually help. We're like, we'll pay rent. We'll cook, we'll clean, we'll take care of kids if they had kids, we'll do anything, you know, to pay our way. We were going to pay our way, we were going to work our way, and everyone's like, no. And I'm like, why? That doesn't even make any sense. So we put them in the bad guy column. Their brains are probably, you know, messed with, warmed, that term. Not ours, your guys's. And, um, you know, we're trying to knock some sense into them. And they were so concerned about us going to a church saying we were involved in a cult. And I'm like, no, we were quite aware of the bad stuff going on, and we were fighting it. And we won. We always win. That's the thing. We always win against Q. I, we could see Q even back then. We always win. Because we have fact, we have truth, and we don't do snarky, shitty shit to people. I mean, we don't. Why? I mean, I just want to dance, you know? I just want to do my art. I want to help other people do it, too, within reason. If they start abusing me, taking advantage of me, then we have a long talk, and sometimes I have to be like this. Okay, then you shouldn't abuse me and take advantage of me and try to pull shit. If you're cool with me, I'll be cool with you. I don't want to be, you know, adamant or anything with other people. It takes too much effort. It's so much easier to say, hey, you want to dance? What are you going to do? Okay, promise. Yeah, okay, cool. And then they do turn around and do something completely opposite. Then I have to say something, obviously, because they broke an agreement. And if they break an agreement, then, I mean, we have everything documented. We've had people do that before, and I'm like, don't do that. Come on. So, you know, it's unfortunate. It doesn't mean there's less love. I still love these people. It's just that... Mm, not good for us to work together for a while you know check back when you're normal it's totally fine but you know guys we're not down for this i don't know how many different ways we can say this and you know so they just want to hang some of these good guys not i want to say all it's not all of them it's just some small handful that are making the decisions for the bigger group and i don't like it because it's going to bite everybody in the ass except us because we're like we didn't fucking say okay we don't want to do this um, we want to face our enemy the legal, logical, legitimate way. And everybody's thinking that they have to, you know, embellish our story. You know, like, they can't embellish it. We have reached yeah. the epitome of 
this evil done to us, it would just be more. And they have to use their brain. It's like, wait a minute, they want this glamorous, elegant, beautiful lady, which, you know, I'm not ugly, but if they keep letting all this nitric acid be around us, what do you think is going to happen? It's already damaging our skin. It's already damaging our organs, even though we do have the vaccine. So it extends your life longer, you know? But really, how are you going to have both? You can't. So it's probably a good idea to rescue us, put us in a safe place. And then if you want to extend the time while we're just kind of resting up and beautifying ourselves, just to put it that way, um, then we don't give a shit because we're, in, we're out of harm's way. I mean, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But you guys have the wrong, sick, twisted idea, okay? I'm already a dance warrior in every sense of the word. You don't have to make more things up. You don't have to encourage things or conjure things more to have happen. When we tell people our story, they're already amazed at what we've done. We don't need more shit added to it because I will say they conjured this and they made it happen even if you're a good guy because it's not the truth. If I'm going to go to Congress bring this to court, I'm not going to lie, okay? And I think they wanted to make it more legitimate so they were reenacting it and making it look legit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's true, the bad guys are actually doing this. No, tell people watching, I know this. Yeah, but the, I mean, you know, the, the bad guys are actually doing this to us, but we were supposed to get some protection and somebody overrode that protection and it basically allowed these bad guys to hurt us even more just so they could add more in court, more to the press, more, more, more. And so now we have an even more amazing story showing how the good guys' brains got fucked up. Not all of you guys, obviously, obviously, please, not a blanket statement, but some, and those some seem to have more pull than they should in guiding everybody's future. So we're not down for that. Everybody wants this over with now, and it can be. So that's why this reeks of Q manipulating the good guy's brains. We already called out my second dad on his bullshit. And all forgiven, you know, water under the bridge, but we are expecting grand restitution. Just to be clear on that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And there are many people that know what the hell happened, and they're really glad and would be happy to stick it to this person. So if you don't want them to stick it to you, you need to rescue us and make us extremely happy. And we're very upset right now and very angry, and we should be. I mean, how would you like it? Jesus Christ, you have children yourselves. You wouldn't let your son or daughter go through this. Well, we're both somebody's son and daughter. Just because my mom is deceased doesn't mean that I stop being a daughter. Okay? You wouldn't let that happen to your, your children. Why would you let it happen to us? Hmm. Think about that for a little bit. That shows me where your heart is. You're over here in the evil column. Hop back over here. But you should not be in a leadership position. We should be. So, you know, like we keep saying, everybody get on our boat because we're sailing to better oceans and better seas, a better tomorrow. We're sailing to win. We aren't waiting around for these clowns who betrayed us to get their act together because uh, you really fucked up. Nowhere does it say in the Constitution, cause more harm. Even doctors have a Hipp Hippocratic oath that they are supposed to cause no harm. Well, the same thing goes for our government. You're not supposed to cause harm. You're supposed to protect people like us from harm. So it, when people are not even following the laws that they should know, there's something wrong. And we found out what it was, so, you know. Uh, sucks to be you. That's all I can say. So, anyway, so we're gonna end that portion, right? Yeah. And then yeah. so this way he can talk, and I can support him. He's supporting me while I'm talking. But just to recap, um, Dance Warrior, don't take it to such extremes. Our story is already good. Uh, the good guys, their brains got wormed by Q, and um, 
One of them was my second dad, and I think he snapped out of it. Uh, we need a rescue. We don't need to be left out here suffering more to build up our story kind of in a false way, even though the bad guys are already doing this shit to us, but we were supposed to receive protections. Check out our constitution, check out the laws, the federal laws especially. Um, we're supposed to be protected in this and we've asked for it and when we first wrote our dissertation we didn't know about the Q group but we figured out there has to be some kind of corporate meaning group entity doing this because one person can't do this alone although there's probably one leader who we kind of figured out is a false preacher hand on hip bible in hand the hypocrite go figure that out thank you david bowie yeah um you know just saying uh, we're, we're done. We are flippin' done. And, uh, you know what? Worst case scenario, we have one hell of a fucking movie series. You guys are gonna be amazed. See, that's the thing. Every day we check gravity. Is this really happening? And we go through the list. Yes, we're being burned by nitric acid. No, we don't have it anywhere. But yes, we are finding it in our urine. And it's coming out of the gas pipes. Gasoline tailpipes in the car. And it's in the air. And it's really bad when it's humid and raining. Acid rain. Guys, that's like a real thing. And um, you could do the test yourselves. It doesn't cost hardly more than a couple bucks. And you can figure it out very easily. Just like we did. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's it's all there. It's, it's, we keep checking to make sure that this is real. We watch our videos again. It's like, oh my God, no, that really happened. Those people did blow toxic crap and you can see it blowing in our faces and they were laughing at us and videotaping us while they were causing us harm. The guy was stalking us. So this stuff is really happening. Our car doors were remotely open and closed and we didn't have our little beeper key with us. All of this is legit. The cops were fucking with our heads and they were lying to us and we have that on video. So guys, do the math. Why it's happening, we can only guess, but we can't deny what we see. There's no way to misinterpret it. So why is all this bad stuff happening to just our family? <laughs> Probably because we came forward and busted Q, but we didn't even realize we were busting Q. We thought we were busting just certain entities that stole our property. Yeah. We didn't know. We didn't know. We had no idea. So, yeah. Enjoy this. Okay, are we done? Yes. We're going to go on to the next video. Bye. <laughs>